Hello everyone, I love digital clocks. I made several clocks in this channel and after tired of using 7 segment style digital clocks, I made this 10 segment neopixel clock. Today I made another unique clock. I am calling it as a round segment neopixel clock. I got the idea from POSIS design. As the name indicates, the segments are round in shape. The body of this clock made by 3D printing. It has a rechargeable battery and two switches for setting the time. In every minute, the color of the digit changes. Also, it displays the temperature. Now let's see how I built this unique clock. Let's get started with this video. This is the complete digit style. It has 7 segments and we can make 0 to 9 numbers using the 7 round shaped segments like this. Zero has two options to display but I use the bigger option. Next we need to arrange the LEDs in the same orientation. I use WS2812 NeoPixel LEDs because it need only one wire to control all the LEDs. We need a total of four digits to display time. Additionally, I added two LEDs for the second indication. I am using Arduino as brain here. Also, I added DS3231 RTC module and a 3.7V to 5V booster module. This is the final design of the clock PCB. After verifying everything, I downloaded the Gerber files for PCB fabrication. Now I went to JLC PCB for PCB fabrication. I chose JLC PCB because of their high quality PCBs and low pricing. You will get 5 PCBs for just $2. Also their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order, click on order now. Select the Gerber file. Now select the quantity, thickness, color, etc. Then select the shipping method and place the order. After 10 days, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. Here are the PCBs. Everything looks nice and quality is perfect. Now I soldered all components to the PCBs starting with the LEDs. I'm not showing all the complete soldering. It is nothing, just place the components and solder. Here is the completed PCB. Here we need a proper enclosure for the clock, so I designed it using Thinkercard. This design has two parts, front and back. Then I printed the design model using my Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. I printed the first layer with white PLA and the rest is with black PLA. After printing, I inserted all the components inside the clock and closed everything. Now the coding part. Here is the code. You can find the complete code and libraries from my site. Link is given in the video description. After uploading the code to Arduino Nano, you can see the work. Perfect. So that's all about how I built this unique clock. Hope you enjoyed I learned something new from my video. If you are still watching, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.